umbrella helm chart what is a helm chart package manager for kubernetes where it will try to install and install the manifests inside the kubernetes whereas the umbrella helm chart is also useful when you actually have a bigger projects by the way where you are where you will be having a common code which will evolve or common chart which needs to be evolved between multiple projects um, multiple microservices usually in the bigger projects you will be having multi microservices and some of them let's say you will be having uniformity between the services development and where if you have the helm chart individual for each and every microservice over a period of time it becomes a very big burden to manage because the helm chart is is an individual like all the files are individual to each and every repo any change that needs to be done to be done to many repositories that's where you have a concept of a umbrella helm chart that will help you your application to easily manage and deploy and also you will it will help you in dealing with the centralized way in in a centralized way and also it can help you with the dependencies as well so that means like you have a helm chart and single helm chart and all your dependencies you can call it through that and it makes your life easy okay that is what the overall idea of about what is a umbrella helm chart and however now it's nice that you can always go with the helm chart creating in a separate repository and you can always you know run that particular uh, repository from your pipeline whatever you are using you you know you kind of get that particular you know uh, get that particular repository into uh, your application repository maybe like you know you are using jenkins kind of a thing as an example maybe you clone two repositories and do the job by the way so it's happy path but however we're talking about a a larger project that which eventually you'll be having a multiple versions by the way right so that means a microservice which will be having a different version of helm chart requirement whereas maybe a, another helm chart requires a, another version of helm chart when i say another version it's not completely new thing maybe like maybe like you know you are imposing a new feature for an example maybe you want to impose some sort of a secret management manifest file in the helm chart you want to give a secret manager support aws secret manager support kind of a thing as an example and in your newer helm chart you are going to do that whereas your older helm chart still need to work by the way right so if you actually try to use a common repository okay directly as a repository by the way and again the centralized one which will cause even further problems by the way so centralized when you come to the centralized you have to think about supporting each and every microservice and their requirements as well okay so that is where you need to consider about thinking about little bit further and that is basically you can solve it by using a utility over here which is called as cr chart release so chart release is is a very beautiful tool and maybe you can just adopt the idea of what chart release is actually doing and whatever chart release is doing it can be you know adapted into the project by with our own scripting by the way but however here chart chart release is a cr tool exclusively works for github by the way and if your project is hosted on github then this makes sense otherwise you end up writing whatever the chart release is doing end of the day you will be writing for your git repository is as simple as that now in this particular video we are going to talk about how to use chart releases and how can we convert your github repository into a helm artifactory and you can always refer from there so in this particular video we are going to look for that so here is the github repository for chart release and here is a tool and i'm going to install this particular tool um, here so there is a release page of theirs and i can see all mac os related one maybe i can further go down i see all darwin only it's all mac os let's go down yeah now here i can see linux part and i'm using linux uh, x86 hardware that's where i'm choosing amd64 this is my machine which i'm actually using it and if you look into the os by the way here it is centos 8 and I'm going to use this particular machine for installing this particular tool. And it's very straightforward. I think its version also does not really matter. Any x86, it will work. And I just downloaded this particular file. It's a tar file. Let me extract that particular tar file. After extracting the tar file, so now I can see that there is a, a CR. So it is in the current location, by the way. So I'm giving dot slash CR. But however, if I would like to deal with that as a command, by the way, maybe I can go for using uh, um, maybe a cp command is fine by the way but however um, generally for this particular purpose we will go with install command maybe here i will just try to go with install install cr and maybe i'm trying to go with install cr 
and then slash bin. So that is a full command. It's nothing but CP. It's, it does nothing more than that. So it just install and ensures that you know it is it is done properly. That's it. All right. So now you can see that just CR I'm giving. I'm getting this particular command output. All right. For this anyhow, I need a repository. So that's where this is the repository which I'm having. And uh, I'm going to give this particular repository URL on the uh, YouTube video description. Please go through that. Otherwise, I'm cloning this. I'm cloning local. It's an empty repository. It just have a readme file and it's a public repo. I don't have anything. And uh, here I require Helm, by the way. I'm just installing Helm with my custom script. So that will help me installing Helm uh, without any burden. So now I can see the Helm version is this, right? So cool. Now all I need to do is I need to initiate a repository so that I can move that code to that umbrella Helm chart video repo. For that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Helm command itself to create the repository. So let's try to go with Helm and then create the repository name and then some repository name. So now this is maybe demo demonstrating a chart. I'll just give chart hyphen demo or something like that. Okay. And after this, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some files generated here and I'm going to move these particular files to my umbrella Helm chart video a git repository so let me go and do that so i'm copying all the files here whatever i have here and to my umbrella chart video location and i would like to go into that particular location and i would like to see those files all the files are here so git status i would like to add all these particular files and commit those particular files to my git repository All right, I'm able to push those particular things to my Git repository. All right, so let me re let me refresh and validate whether the code is here. Yes, the code is here. Let's find it out whether we're able to access that repository as a Helm repository. Now you can see that it is kind of giving a warning because I'm missing some message by the way there. Um, so let me go and give Helm repo add. You should have a local name to that. Maybe I'll give chart hyphen demo, same name, something like that, hyphen demo, enter. So you can see that it is telling that, hey, I'm not able to find out the index file where you have the charts, by the way. So it is telling that information, by the way. All right. Now let's go and try to follow this particular one and let, we will be able to uh, deal with that. So let's go there. So first, let's go into that particular uh, repository. And I would like to deal with basically a CR package and dot. So it is actually generating the 0.1.0 file by the way and um, in dot cr hyphen releases packages and the next command which i'm executing is cr upload and i'm giving what is the repository name and all those particular information so which that that information comprises of owner the owner of the github organization and then git repo what is the repository name and packages with index is what it is telling and also i'm giving my github token and after that it is giving push and finally if it is already existing so we can skip that so that's what i have executed and finally now we'll be going and creating a index by the way all right so now let's go and try to generate the index so basically the third one is there index generation so let's go with that and so let's copy that and execute the options accordingly by the way so <clears throat> index owner i'll replace all those particular things so my name and then uh, the repository name and then the index index path and the token by the way so the token is whatever the token i have and then i'm actually giving push okay so then yeah i'm getting an error so the error says that you know i don't have an origin github pages okay so that means it is expecting a github pages uh, repository uh, sorry branch by the way in that particular repository so what we're going to do is uh, i think it's mostly looking for a branch name only and i will just go there and go to the branches here and i'll just choose a, a new branch to create and the name is github pages and create that particular branch so that's it so that much is cr expecting i think so it is going to push into that particular branch now that's where we are going to say uh, this is the one so i need to pull it because there is a new branch there 
So now you can see this, it is actually making a push by the way, or making an index by the way. So this has been made an index and you can see that particular branch by the way, you'll be able to see that index.yml file is created and there's a chart is there, it is what it is telling, right? Now what we'll do is, we will just take this URL, okay? So let me take a raw content. Let me take this URL, this is the actual URL where this index.yml is there, where that index file is the one which, which is referred by Helm when you actually give Helm repo, right? Now Helm repo add some local name, chart-demo, and I'm giving that URL. Now it is perfectly added name is chart-demo. Uh, chart -demo. Now let's find out what all the charts inside this. I think Helm search, I think, or Helm repo search. I'm not sure. Let's see, uh, Helm repo search, maybe not. Let's go with the Helm search repo, I think. So search repo, enter. Ah, here it is. You can see that there is one chart and it is 0 0.1.0. And using the help of helm command you should be able to install that particular one all right so just for demonstration purpose so what we'll do is we'll go with one more uh version also so now here there is this 0 1.0 so maybe i will go for 0 0.1.1 and i'll repeat the same process by the way um, same cr3 cr commands i'll be executing that is one thing and also i will go with a 0. Uh, I will also go with 0.1.2 version also and then we'll see how I mean three versions we'll try to release and we'll see how does it go and after that I'll go with the the same three commands again package and then CR push CR upload yeah and then CR index All right, so this is how you can able to see that. Now let's find it out whether a Helm repo update will do. So let it get that updated index YAML. Now Helm uh, will find out all the versions by the way. So Helm search for repo, you can give one chart is there and 0 0.1.2 as you can see. But also there are other versions as well involved over here. Helm search for that particular repo, which is chart demo. And I want to get all the versions by the way, hyphen hyphen versions can help us. Now you can take this any of this particular chart version and you can install it but i don't have a kubernetes cluster but let's try the helm command and it anyhow will throw an error so but at least you should not say an error about the chart version all right so here uh, install iphone version 0.1.2 helm started invoking but there is no kubernetes cluster now whichever the version i wanted to install i'll simply choose that particular version to install and that's how the umbrella helm chart even though you have a common repository you can always achieve the versioning so that whichever the application wanted to use whichever the version and this becomes a product and this will be consumed by all the microservices during the deployment time and your centralized thing is achieved whereas you have a centralized accountability centralized control and as well as centralized auditing and centralized enforcing so all these particular aspects is possible when you actually try to achieve this particular one Alright, so that's all about chart release and see you in next video.